Hey everybody, Akira's here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Custom Stalker. Season 1, Episode 22. I'm surprised nobody mentioned it in the comments. I just sat down and realized that I think I need to pick up the brass from shooting that deer. Normally you guys are Johnny on the spot with that sort of thing, but uh, either that or I missed one of the comments. But uh, here it is. We'll grab that. Good stuff. Looks like there is a storm moving in. Of course it is at our back. I kind of want to go for it. I don't want to go for it, guys. And yeah, we got our fire going here. <laughs> Either that or someone else has got a fire going in here for us. Alright, let's go see what's going on here with, with the fire situation before we head out. Alright. Now we're in a bit. So, you know what I think I'll do is I'll just go ahead and see what happens with the weather. I'll start up a little boil party here. Of some water. There we go. Wonderful. So that should work. Alright, good deal. Is there anything else we can repair while we wait for that to boil? Anything like small half hour repair job is what I'm kind of looking for. Organized by condition. Uh, this jacket's going to take probably an hour, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, it's a little big. Um, we'll took. Yeah, we could. Yeah, what the heck. You know what else I need to do? I think I need to check. I want to make sure that I check both parts of the container over here. Not 100% sure I did. Let's go do that real quick. Let's send a... Oh, we've already got a deer up there. I was going to say, let's send a deer up this this way as a decoy, just in case there's a wolf. But there's one already further down. And if there were wolves in the area, I'm sure they would have... Well, that deer probably wouldn't be with us anymore. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing great. I got the weekend off. I will be with the kids all weekend. My wife has to work. She's working... Uh, Regular shift on Saturday, overtime shift on Sunday, and then she is working Monday as well. So, all right, let's just double check. I just want to make sure. Empty? Searched. Yeah, I did already get it. Okay, just wanted to double check. Left some scrap metal there. Okay, sometimes I just don't trust myself. It, it looks like it's going to get nasty here in a minute. Um, it dropped one degree. We have plenty of food here, so I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, I think since we do have to climb some ropes and we're already, you know, about halfway fatigued, a little bit above it, but by the time we get there, we'll be halfway fatigued. And despite having crampons, it sounds dirty every time I say it. it. Sounds like I should be embarrassed to say it every every time. But despite having crampons, <laughs> um, it, they help you get up there with your stamina on the right hand side of the screen that pops up as soon as you start climbing, like your immediate energy level. But it seems like your overall fatigue decreases at the same rate, no matter whether you have them or not. The only thing is you're just not climbing for as long, so it doesn't affect it for as long. Um, so in a way, it's good, but it seems like it still saps the saps the energy pretty pretty well from you. Uh, okay. Oh wow, that was good. Good timing there. So just about perfect. 45 minutes there, and another 21 minutes there. And we are doing great on water, so I'm not concerned about that in, in least. So let's go ahead and pick these up. You know what? I'll just... I'm just going to leave two here. Just in case. Maybe the next guy along will need it. Um, one of the things I, apparently I told you that was wrong, that had been told to me, and uh, was that if you stand on the, on the warm side of the cave and you start your fire on the cold side, the, the fire would actually last longer. I guess if you, it's wherever you're standing is what dictates whether or not the fire. Well, that doesn't make sense. 
Because I'm on the cold side. And does this change the fire? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell what side of the cave I'm on. Anyway, I don't think you ever, like, turn like this and then see the time decrease or increase, right? I mean, it goes down, obviously, at the rate it would always go down. But it never jumps up, right? So I'm definitely on the cold side of the cave here. It doesn't change. I'm not sure. I'm all confused now. Oh, well. It's about the extent of my science experiments. Well, I think maybe I'll just sit here and uh, let the fire goes out. Let the fires go out here. And uh, you know what I might do? I don't think I can get that coal out of here now, can I? No, I can't. It's still burning. I'll be a little ouchy. I think I have some coals on me. I'm just going to go ahead and map out this area real quick since we're here. Just for giggles. Before nightfall, because uh, those are considered low visibility conditions. There we go, deer clearing. Wonderful. Yep, blizzard was coming. All right, well. I think we'll be able to make it through the night without needing to have like a really solid 12 hour sleep um, to regain all of our strength. So, I think I'll just stay in this cave to avoid cabin fever issues. On down the line. There we go. How many did I get? Just, oh, I got four. Okay, good enough. Let's see if we can read anything before nightfall. We have plenty of food, plenty of water. Might as well get our education on. Oh, I forgot to do that. We'll just drop that here. I wish I could just destroy. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Let's get, let's get this. Yeah, hold on. Eh. Let's throw on a cedar. Oh, I had sticks. Could have used those. That probably would have worked. I didn't realize I was carrying around some poison water. That's okay. Yeah, 16 minutes until boiled. Uh, I don't want to have to stand around and wait for it, but I guess we will. Lots of cans of soup. For the road ahead, probably run into a lot of food up at the uh, up at the summit. Also, plane crash. I'm just out here wandering around, exploring, making sure I didn't miss anything. While I wait for that to uh, cook, because I can't read. By the time I got done reading, it would be boiled or uh, boiled dry. So, come over here. Inspect my favorite cave. It's my new favorite cave. What a nice find. Nice amount of meat here. I'll probably eat one of these or at least try to fill up a little bit here. Real quick. Might take one with me. 920. Let's take that with us. We'll just take that with us. We'll have it tonight before we go to bed and then we'll eat it before we wake or before we leave in the morning. Weather permitting. Obviously. Yeah, it's going to get nasty. Definitely going to get nasty here in the next hour or two. So, no need to go trekking about Timberwolf Mountain when we know it's going to get bad. Especially when we have a nice cave here and a really nice cave over there in case things really get horrible. There we go. Alright. We'll pick that one up. We'll leave those two there. So we have all those cans of tomato soup. As we eat those, we're going to get more cans. Should probably just leave the two that I have, honestly. With as much water as I have, I think that's what actually, actually what I'm going to do. So, let's see here. Okay, where are they at? There they are. Didn't mean to do it that way. I meant to drop them. And we don't need that anymore. We'll drop that here, too. There we go. It's not going to be much, but lightens our pack up just a little bit. So, all right, let's read this book here, Surviving Outdoors. Keep an eye on the entrance here. I am slightly. You know what? Let's drop that. There we go. So it doesn't bring a wolf. 
Alright, now let's read. Never been attacked inside one of these types of caves before by a wolf, but I've heard it can happen, so and it doesn't it wouldn't surprise me at all if one would follow you right in here. So how we doing? Get a drink. Alright, let's see if we can Yeah, I think we can. We hurry up here. We'll knock this book out. Yeah, no problem. Wonderful. Starting to get nice and dark. Fire starting skill is up to level 3 now, which means... Stand by for it, folks. Where are we at? There we go. Fire starting. 25% reduction in meat harvesting. Oh, wait. That's not... What? Oh, you gotta actually click on it. 65% 65, 65 chance to start fires. Fires last 10% longer. Can start fires without tinder. That's nice. Where's my tinder at? I can drop that crap. Uh, do I have any tinder or am I out? I'm conveniently fresh out of tinder. All right, that's good stuff. Okay, well, well, that's that's that. Um, I say we just go ahead and uh, can't repair in the dark. What can I do? Get rid of this book now. That's gone. Do I have any other books I can read? Just curious for the road ahead. I can tear these down. Yeah, let's do that. Then if we need to in the morning, we can... Like, if we need to kill some time in the morning because of bad weather, we can do a repair on our... Gauntlets. So, yeah, let's, let's tear these boots down here. I think that's all we have that we were planning on tearing down. Because we got these awesome deer skin boots, so we don't need these. Let's harvest those up. One cured leather is going to take an hour and a half. That's pretty good use of time, honestly. There we go. Alright, we'll probably find leather on the way. Uh, one of these containers, I think some of them. We're going to have leather and cloth and things like that, but... Uh, so let me check one more thing here. How much? Yeah, we just have the one. So we get the one chance. And, yeah, okay. Is it late enough? Am I tired enough? I think so. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and see if we can rest. I'm going to go back here just for the sake of making sure that I don't get snuck up on by a wolf. Out of sight, out of mind, that sort of thing. Oh, did I leave my... Ooh, I left my bedroll back there. That's pretty scary all things considered could keep the book with me to start a fire this really good material for starting fires but it's not I don't think it's worth the wait I got the accelerant if I get into an emergency situation so yeah man normally I'm pretty good about like I'm pretty bad about picking up brass but I'm pretty good about picking up my bedroll every time I don't think I've ever like tricked off and left it behind before so Apparently what happened, I think what happened was I, because the game saved at the end of the last episode, and so when it saved, it was like right when you wake up, and uh, I forgot that I didn't pick it up in the prior, like even if I picked it up in the prior episode, it loads in before you pick it up, so I think that's probably what happens, at least that's how I'm going to work it out in my head, so I feel better about the whole thing. Alright, uh, there's probably a bed down here somewhere, but let's just use the lantern. Use a little fuel in this thing, can't we? Where's that? There it is. Pick it up. All right. Let's turn this off and preserve the fuel. It's actually easier to see outside with it off. That's the funny thing about it. Kind of blinds you. It's sort of like having a dome light on in a car at night. It just doesn't help. Got my uh, security deer out here, ready to fight to the death for me and fill the stomachs of those predators that would otherwise want to come and eat me. Hopefully by the time they get done eating all these deer, they're so full they can't see straight and they decide that I'm not worth it. That's, that's the plan. 
All right, we just, as soon as we crossed the threshold there, we just got too tired to to carry. Uh, I think we just went below our threshold here, didn't we? Yeah, maybe. It was already, already like that. It just, I, is that the threshold? that Someone's saying if you walk fast, then you cross it, and it becomes like an indoor. There it is. It does. I never noticed that before. There it is. So you can tell because you start walking slower. It's funny I never noticed that before. Yeah, there's some coal. We'll take that. All right, let's try this again here. Let's lay down our bedroll. And get a little something to drink. Don't really need to eat anything right now. We've got the steak sitting over there. So plenty of calories. No worries there. I'm going to go for about four hours at a time, I think. Maybe three, just to play it a little bit safer. Let's do this, just in case the temperature drops a lot. We should be okay. Looks like whatever bad weather was coming in, it's kind of held off a little bit. Ooh, I hear some more wind. But it looks clear out there, but I think it's windy. Oh, maybe not. All right, well, whatever. Let's uh, let's go for another three. We're in pretty good zone right here, plus the bed warmth bonus. We're we're pretty safe for three hours. All right. Yeah, it dropped a little bit, but we're still okay. Definitely above freezing still. So let's go another three, if possible. Yeah, that should work. We should be close. To, oh no, that's not good. Sounds like we'll be repairing some gauntlets. Some work gloves. That doesn't sound very good out there, honestly. Let's pick that up right away. Uh, It sounds horrible, but it looks okay. But that makes me really nervous. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh, we can go back and eat a little bit more, can't we? Yeah, the wind's kicking. So there's weather coming, but I think we can make it to the next laying up spot if need be. So let's go eat a little bit more meat here. And then uh, drop some water. Drop a little bit of extra water. After we get a drink as well. Maybe a... Uh, uh, what are we weighing? In pretty good shape. Could drop maybe a liter here and then maybe a liter at the top of the next rope or something like that. Looks good to me. Let's just eat and then drop that. There we go. Nice drink of water. And the, the wind stopped. It, yeah, not bad. Uh, we'll take it. it. Sounds like it's thinking about starting up again. So we're not going to mess around. We're going to get going. Uh, let's drop a leader. There we go. All right. Emergency. Yeah, let's make it easy to see. Like, let it get all stuck in the grass. There we go. We're ever in a bad way or somebody else is in a bad way. That's going to be a bonus for them. And I'm going to check right here for some feathers before we leave near the carcass. And I hate leaving behind the guts and the hide, but I really don't, I'm not, I don't want to carry it all the way up the hill with me and then leave it at the top of Summit or something like that. Because I know I'm going to fill, fill my pockets at Summit. But that was pretty good. Right there, that's a one and a third arrows right there we can build with those, those feathers. Check my status here on my rifle. Make sure that... Yeah, it, look, it didn't look like he ejected around, or she ejected around. Looks like she just loaded one manually. So, just wanted to check and make sure that we were ready to go. Looks like we are. So let's go. Let's do it. Need to be a little careful here. Here, sometimes there's a. Is that a? How do you get up there? Is that a metal container up there? 
A green metal container? I think it is. Maybe I've never noticed that before. Or maybe it's something new. Or is that just a box? It kind of just looks like a box. Yeah, it's just a box. Okay. Not worried about it. Gotta be a little careful here. Sometimes there's wolves and a bear that likes to wander around this, this level. So, just gonna be a little extra cautious. Ready to shoot our way out of a situation if it gets bad because it's pretty narrow through here. So, we'll see. Not gonna grab any sticks or anything like that because there will be plenty more to be had on the next levels. The next levels are pretty safe. I think this is the last level where you actually have to worry about predators. Once we go up the next rope, we should be fine. All right, just gotta keep my eyes open here to the left because there's a little path that we need to take that typically I miss. So, all right, I don't like this hill right here for some reason. I'm just getting bad vibes. Might actually want to just go ahead and bring out the rifle for this one. Just in case. I think this is our I think this is our path. Yeah, this is it. Anything here gonna try to nibble on me a little bit? I think this is yep, this is gonna be it. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, let's not get the stones out. Go back to pistol. So, in an old video I did, many years ago, maybe four or five years ago, this is where I had a, a video called Worst Spawn Ever. And uh, I spawned in here in like a blizzard at night and uh, promptly tried to make it up the summit, ended up freezing to death and dying inside of a hollow. I, I got attacked by a wolf too. Oh, maybe there are wolves up here. That reminds me. I guess I did get attacked by a wolf in this area. So, gotta be extra cautious. But, uh, he, maybe he just smelled fear that night. Um, but I think I died in this tree right here. So I spawned over there and I literally died in this tree right here after a wolf attack and freezing to death. If memory serves, it was pretty bad. I tried to get a fire going inside this tree. But, yeah, it didn't work. Not sure why I didn't go up this rope. Maybe I just didn't know the rope was here. Because I think Timberwolf was pretty new at that point in time. Plus it was night in a blizzard. I mean, it'll be tough to figure out where you're at anyway. I probably didn't even realize I was at this location. If I if I knew Timberwolf well enough at that point to even make it. But a short little rope. This isn't going to take too long. Alright, feeling much better up here. Just thinking about dropping water here. I don't think I am. Uh, my weight's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. I'm pretty well underweight, so I think I'm just going to keep going here. Nice little laying up cave if you, if you need to. Right here. Cut through here. And, you know what, let's go ahead and grab a couple of these. That's something I could do at night. Make some of the wound dressing. All right, let's go for it. Ooh, pitch black. All right, let's get our lantern out here. Let's go. I'm just going to collect these coals and leave them just like I did the last cave. Just collect them so they respawn. Leave them at the entrance if need be or at the top of the rope or bottom of the rope or wherever. But I'm not too concerned about weight right now because I just want to collect everything on the way. Let me see what this goes to. 
Not sure. Maybe this just loops around, possibly. Not sure. I think it does. I think this loops. Loops around. Mm, not sure. Nope, maybe not. Yeah, a little. Little path off here to the left had a little piece of coal in it, but. Yeah, it's just gonna loop around. I'm. Mm, there's something interesting over here. Let's see. Some water, it looks like. Some standing water. No snow. Make that snow. Okay. And a dead guy. Hey. And a magnifying lens. This stuff will come in handy. Worn t-shirt. Okay, we'll keep that. We can tear that up for cloth if we need to. Take the firewood. What else we got in here? Anything? No. Nothing else. Alright, thanks, dead guy. You didn't leave anything hidden back there, did you? Yeah, she's starting to get heavy, so... We'll be leaving a lot of this fire starting material. At the bottom of the next rope, probably. We're at the entrance to the cave, the other side of this cave. As we pick up more items, <laughs> more fire starting material. All right, can't be that far away now. Gotta be getting close. Got to. <laughs> Someone in the comments left. <laughs> These are some of the most luxurious caves I've ever seen. Uh, I was like, yeah, it's true. The most most caves are pretty nasty. Dank. Claustrophobic. Yeah, these are these are pretty luxurious caves. At least compared to my uh, limited experience with caves, definitely agree. All right, well we made it. Let's turn this thing off. I don't know why it doesn't show her wearing those gloves. I wish it would, they'd do that. They'd get on that with her wearing gloves and show that, reflect that. And we don't need six of those. Let's drop that. Eight of those. Don't need that many. There we go. I'll pick up a, one of the cedars because those are pretty good burning. And let's get going. So this is where I can drop a rope. Here. Oh, they already have one there. Okay. I must have to drop it on the next one. And scurry my way back down that way. But I think I'm just going to go down the front of the uh, the cliff face at the wreck. I don't really have to worry about carry weight. At least I don't think you do. I don't think you have to go past any ropes if you go that way. So. Let me check my weight here. Oh, we're even better now. 33. I must have dropped some extra wood that I was carrying around from the from the start because I thought I was at 34 and change. Grab some of this old man's beard again. Arrow trees. Pointing this towards the next climb. Right there it is. That's a pretty decent climb with a uh, spot to rest about halfway up. So we'll definitely do that. A nice little oh it is a little cave. Check that out. That's a that's a cute little one right there. All right, let's see what's down in here. Oh, we got this rope here. Okay, we could go drop that down. Let's go do that. Let's go handle business real quick in case we want to uh, drop a rope back here. That was very convenient of them to leave that there. So, got to be a little careful going down this rope because I am dropping into wolf territory. Wolf and rabbit territory. It gets bloody down there sometimes. There's a war raging between the wolves and the rabbits, and uh, yeah, the wolves are winning. 
So that's my best defense when I come off this rope is the, you know, hopefully rabbits are getting shoot up a little bit. All right, well, it's going to take a little bit of energy here. I'll probably just use a cup of coffee. I don't know, maybe not, maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Look at the time of the day. I really don't want to, like, sleep at this point or start a... There we go. Besides, we just got to go down once and then once up. There's the rabbits. And there's a deer. That's good. And no sign of a wolf right now, so... Unless he's right below my rope here, which doesn't look like there is. Oh, am I running around with the crampons on? Or am I not? I don't know. I don't think I put them on. Yeah, we'll find out here in a second. I'm gonna check. Let me check. Nope, no crampons. I guess you really don't need them when you're going down the rope. It's not that big a deal. Make sure I'm not stinky. I don't think I am. I think I ate. Yeah, I don't, I'm not carrying any meat with me. I don't have any guts with me or anything like that. So we just need to be a little bit extra careful here. There's some more saplings way over there in the distance, but I just want to get this rope deployed. And uh, if we decide we want to come back down this way, so be it. Be safer route probably, but not nearly as fun. And is that a, I think that's a box over there. I'm going to go try to check that out. Plus, at the bottom of this rope, if I'm not mistaken, there is a shipping container. It's fallen out of the plane. There's also a couple... Also a couple wolves. Yeah. There's a shipping container right there. Then there's some boxes over here to the left. But there's typically, typically a wolf over here on this hill with the rocks on top of it. Anyway, not seeing them. Not going to stick around. Sightseeing. So I'm going to go over here and see if this is a container or just a regular box. I can't remember. So let's be a little cautious here. Yeah, if I need to, I can just run past those rabbits and get up the... That's just a box. Wait, wait, wait. Oop, nope, yep, nope, yep. Just boxes. Okay. Well, we'll just carefully back our way out of this situation and head back up the rope. We use the crampons here. Those rabbits did not spook at all. That was a, kind of impressive. I could get that close to them. Should be able to scurry straight up this thing. Can't imagine it being too hard. Let's turn on our turbochargers here. Digging in. I'm just going to go all the way up, obviously. You could stop here if you wanted to, right there. But we'll keep going. Since fatigue is not a factor at this point. I am a little worried about my overall fatigue. Over there. I might take a little nap. Here in this cave, so let's take the crampons off real quick. Lest I forget. I probably would definitely forget. 100% chance. If I didn't do it right then, I would forget. Let's let's shoot inside this cave and take like a... I don't know. Let's do a three hour nap. And then we should be good enough... In good enough shape to uh, get up that next rope, which is pretty long. It's a pretty long rope, even with crampons on. So, yeah, let's head up here, back to our cave here, let's not break a leg though, falling off of a rock, where'd I, I miss my, I miss my turn or something, yeah, yeah, somehow I completely missed my cave. <laughs> like going straight towards it and then I just completely walk past it. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. What you gonna do? Alright. There it is. Wonder if I can get up this way. I don't know if I can. Looks pretty steep. I think I come in at a good good angle though. Yeah, we're good. There she is. 
I'm all over the place, guys. I'm all over. I thought it was much further away. It just felt further. Literally here, here like a minute ago. <laughs> huh. Okay, well. This timber wolf, for some reason, just always messes me up. Always gets me disoriented. All right, let's uh, let's just go here into the light, so you guys aren't completely in the dark. Yeah, there we go. I thought I lost a bedroll again. All right, let's um, we don't need a drink for three hours. Let's just uh, get our sleep on here. Hopefully that'll help us rest up enough. Take a look, see where we're at. That's pretty good. I feel comfortable with that. By the time we get to the top of Summit, we'll be in, uh, we'll be tired. But, uh, yeah, we'll be in good shape. So this will be the, ooh. Well, the temperature's decent, at least. For now. I don't know how long this is going to last. Well, if we get to the top of Summit, I have a feeling this is going to count as low visibility. I won't be able to do much drawing. And we'll have to wait for this to pass. Because I would like to see how much you can actually draw the map from a place like Summit, you know. Which is probably one of the best vantage points in the game. I also think it was part of one of the Polaroids that we found. I don't know how close you have to be to that icon. to get. I think you get a bonus. Or something. All right, well, super windy, low visibility, half tired, super long rope. What could go wrong? Unknown condition of rope. Near my maximum carry weight. All right, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and, for good measure. Just gonna drink another coffee. We got two more to go, so coffee's pretty easy to find. There we go. The thing I don't want to have happen is me get tired enough so that I have to drop stuff on that on that uh, little balcony thing right there because I'm overweight. Because I become overweight as I'm climbing up. So that's all I'm trying to prevent. That's all. That's that's it. All right, let's go for it. Now, we're going to stop up there anyway, just to play it extra safe. Because this is uh, one of the longer ropes in the game that I, that I know of. Alright, baby, come on. More climbing, baby. More climbing. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop, just for the sake of it. Sake of safety. Yeah, let's just sleep on this ledge. You hear that? She's getting all tired. What's her? Yeah. Oh, we're okay. She's starting to fatigue a little, but what we're going to do is we're going to take another little nap here for like an hour. That'll be it. Just enough to give us a little bit of extra energy. Mm. Oh, it's starting to get cold, according to our indicators there. Yeah, negative eight. Oh, let's get going. She's still got her crampons on. <laughs> Such a child sometimes. It's like a constant battle inside my head. I'm like an old soul, but then I'm like a freaking 12 year old as well. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe every guy's like that. Some are better at hiding it than others, and I just suck at it. Hey, oh, we made it. So let's take the crampons off, put something a little more weather friendly on. The summit, folks, we made it. Yay. We did it in this episode. I was worried the weather was going to try to stop us, but honestly, it's not a bad little trip. Um, I think we got some places to explore over here first, so let's go do that. We're going to get kind of tired and nightfall's coming and all that jazz, so... We'll want to uh, start collecting sticks now that we don't have to climb up any more ropes. 
And uh, I think we got ourselves a cave here. Is that a cave? Ooh, that would be a nice place to live in. I always lived in the fuselage of the plane whenever I was up here. But uh, if this is a decent cave, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Story's not yet written. So, yeah, it looks like a good, good sized cave. Good enough to uh, keep us warm in the back of it, at least. Let's see here. So, zero degrees out here. Oh, we got a dead guy in here. Great. We'll have company. And a book. Oh, and a rope. Oh, uh, we don't need your rope, buddy. I, th I think we're good. Take those antibiotics, though. Those might come in handy, knowing the way I do things. Ooh, that's a big book. Ten points. Nice. So, that should be an instant level up right there. 25 hours, though. I'll take that. Campfire. Take that charcoal. Only one. What's the temperature back here? Eight degrees. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Well, let's see if we can draw up here. I think it's going to say it's limited visibility. Probably. Starting to get real tired. We can get out here to the edge. See what we can see. Oh, we got a couple wolves down here. Yep. Bring out my rifle here. Right there, folks. A couple wolves on patrol. We can try. I got eight. Oh, it did let me. Okay. It really opened that up, didn't it? So there's deer clearing, and we came up this way. Cool. That was pretty cool. She's getting tired. But victory is are, is just mere steps away. So we're not going to quit now. And if it gets too cold in the plane or whatever, we'll just retreat back to this cave. That's a great, great book right there. I saw the old man's beard there. I'm not worried about collecting every last one of them. They're not freaking Pokemon. Jeez, this is cold. Yeah, she's starting to get a little chilly too, isn't she? Might have to go back to cave just to warm up, but we'll see how it is inside the, uh, the old fuselage of the plane. Kind of just wanting to poke around here a little bit, see if they've added anything that I wasn't aware of since uh, it's been over one or two years since I've been up here. It's been a while. Hmm. You know what? Let's uh, let's p take a peek out this way and survey off of this and see if it opens it up that way. And, uh, yeah, by the time we're done, we might see half the map. I know that she's really tired, or really cold at this point. But it doesn't really matter how cold it gets now. Her, uh, condition's just gonna drop it. I believe it's 4% per, per, uh, hour, in-game hour. So, that'd be good. Well, can I get back up if I go down here? Let's not get ourselves into a situation where we're so close yet so far, like, she can't jump to save her life. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can survey this. All right, there we go. There's some mushrooms, fur limbs. Cool. All right. Got a little confession. Kind of enjoying the surveying thing now. The more that I do it, I used to not bother with it at all, but I probably should. So I'm gonna go over here and do this. Uh, yeah, well, I think maybe what we'll do is we'll just stay in the cave before we hit the uh, the airplane. We'll do that in the morning, probably. She is getting tired. Her condition's dropping pretty quick here. We're not having to worry about food quite yet. We're at 1,000 calories. 
We'll find food at the plane, so I'm not worried about that. But plus we have all those cans of tomato soup. I could just fill up on that. Yeah, let's uh let's survey here. Yeah, totally opening up this area here. Very good. Alright. Yeah, I think... I know that the plane's going to be cold. Too cold. Like, as cold as it is out here, negative 12 degrees Celsius, being inside that plane and blocking the wind isn't going to make up for... Well, heck, we can simulate it. We can go stand by one of these rocks and block the wind and see if it makes up for it. Um, so as you can see, air condition's starting to drop. So we might as well just go back and get ready to uh, sleep for 12 hours. Slowly. In increments. In the cave. So, let's go do that. Get ourselves all healed up for tomorrow. I don't impale myself on sticks, branches. All right, here, let's just stand behind this tree. Wait for the symbol. Yeah, one degree. It's still not still not warm enough to uh, actually heat us up, so. There we go. And as you can see, if we need to come out here and bust up some, some limbs, there are plenty to be had up here. If we need some firewood in emergency in the middle of the night, that's not going to be a problem. We'll come out here fully warmed up and do what we got to do and then get back and get a nice fire going for the rest of the night. If it comes to that. So don't worry about that, folks. We will be just fine. 47 minutes already? Are you kidding me? That's insane. Hey, buddy. Mind if I uh, join you tonight? Negative 2 degrees. And it should jump here. There we go. 7 degrees Celsius. Alright, wonderful. I want to, you know, I do want to check my, uh, I want to check my bedroll status here. Uh, where's that? I always forget where they put this. Where it is. 64% to repair it. We need two cloth. Uh, we have a t-shirt, but I don't think we have another cloth. Do we? Maybe we do. Oh, we got, we do have one cloth. I could tear up that t-shirt. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Eh, you know what? We just need to sleep. Of course, if I do that, then I can get rid of the cloth and I can get rid of the t-shirt weight. And, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. That'll be worth it. We'll recover our condition all the way tomorrow. Um, we'll tr eat some soup before we go to bed. Yeah, we'll be in good shape. So let's do that. Harvest. So, so. Nice and tired, but we are warming up here. So that's good. And uh, we could also repair those work gloves too. But uh, probably not tonight since she's so tired. Yeah. All right. Let's work on this. Hopefully, hopefully we can do it. 70% 70, 70 chance of success. So fingers crossed, folk. folks. Let's see. Uh, do it before nighttime. All right. Woohoo. We did it. 94% bedroll. So it should be warmer now to use. What I was kind of going for. Let's take a look at it here. Yeah, it's up to 4.7 now. It was that in the threes um, before the repair? So that's good. Uh, I'll show you here. I do need to eat some soup, so I could have this chocolate bar too. Yeah, let's have a chocolate bar and some soup. That sounds like a good combination. Just definitely take our. They're all 58 percenters, so it doesn't matter. Say I'd eat a sketchy one before a long sleep if I had to. Uh, maybe not tonight since I'd have a condition hit and I wouldn't get any uh, healing on that. But yeah, it's been chow down here. Again, shedding weight and getting something from it as well at the same time. And we're going to get more food at the plane, so I don't care. 
just want to kind of get rid of all these soups. I'll probably drop two of these. Mm. We'll see. We'll see what's on the plane. Of course, once we loot the plane, it shouldn't take us too long to get down to the uh, Mountaineer's Hut at all. We don't have to go back the same way. So, oh, I forgot I had this summit soda. Uh, yeah, we can drink that. Let's do that. Just wanted to make sure I was still getting calorie benefit from it. That's pretty good. Okay. And we'll top off with a little sip of water here. All right, looks good. So she's tired. That's okay. Nighttime's here, almost. And we're just going to sleep in small little increments. Keep an eye on this temperature. See if we're going to need to start a fire in the middle of the night or not. You never know. Ooh. Sounds kind of nasty. I see the old man's beard out there blowing in the wind like a flag. Okay. Let's take a look here. That's eh, five degrees. That's not too bad. Let's do another three. Another three hours. Let's see where we're at. Thirty-six days, twenty-one hours, and eight minutes. We have survived, folks. That's four degrees. It only dropped one degree. It's not bad. Do another three hours of sleep. Basically, getting quarter replenished, a quarter replenished at a time, for my my fatigue down there. My fatigue circle. All right, let's do this one. Could have probably drank something before I did this last three hours. I'll wake up just just thirsty. Yep. Just as if I would have went a full 12 hours right there. So, all right. Well, we're fully rested and all that jazz. So let's go out here and see what we got inside the plane. Let's see how cold it is. Negative seven. It's a bit frigid out here today. And that's in the protected, wind protected area. Ah, it's negative 19. Wonderful. Yeah, that'll wake you up. It's better than a cold shower, right? It's getting smacked in the face. But uh, we don't have to go too far to make it to the, to the plane crash, guys. We're here. We made it. Let's see what it is now. Still negative 19 degrees Celsius. We're not too far off that right now in Ohio. I think it's going to get down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit tonight, maybe. So. I'm not exactly sure what that translates into in Celsius, but it's definitely below freezing. Hey, dead guy. Hopefully he wasn't alive last night. I could have saved him. Hey, buddy. Got a cave over here. Come on. I'm going to say rigor mortis is set in permanently. Tail section. We made it. All right. Everything. Look Whoa, what happened to the stack of boxes over here? Used to be a big stack of boxes. They got rid of those. That's weird. Okay. So I guess if I want to... It feels like zero here. That's good. At least we're not deteriorating. Okay, let's start opening these up. See what we got. So what we've been waiting for for the last few episodes. Summit sodas. All right, like a six pack there, there I think. I'm surprised they're not like completely busted open from freezing. Just exploded. Oh, nice. Those are nice. We'll take that. All right, we'll tear those up. We'll tear those up. Mm, I'll check and see. Maybe I need those. I uh, probably don't need those, but oof. Yeah, we'll tear the, some of those up into leather. I might go back to the cave and just do some repairs. 90%. That's pretty good. We might That might be better than what we have. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. But I'm going to take all these in case I need the materials. Okay, that was pretty much a waste. I need ammo, man. Give me some ammo. One of these. 
All right, those are good. That's one of the best foods in the game right there. Oh, yeah. We got drinks, and we got a flare gun over here. So let's go grab that. Oh, lots of flares. I don't remember there being this many flares. Were they always full of flares? Or was it always, like, partially full? It seems like it was, used to be partially full. Hey, there's a spray pan I needed. So, <laughs> I don't think I want to use that. Let's see if, if this is considered low visibility or not. I don't know. But there's the Mountaineer's Hut over there. I can see that, so I should be able to do this. Okay, it let me. That's good. Oh, yes. And... Okay. I wonder if I need to get over that way. I don't know what that is. I'm, I'm half... Oh, a fire striker. Nice. I was just randomly laying there. Oh, yeah. Deer hides and all kinds of goodies. Do I need to make pants? I think I need those to make pants, actually. Bandage, disinfectant, okay. Pain meds. Lots of goodies. What are we at? It's going to be heavy. Yeah, we're slightly heavy, folks. Slightly heavy. That's a bit of an understatement. I know uh, I was talking about doing spray paint before, but now I got all this charcoal. I don't really need spray paint, honestly. Um, all right, well, let's head on back to where it's warm. You can't get in this door, I don't think, unless they change things. I'm pretty sure that's a door to... Yeah, it's just a sealed up door. Now, there is a dead guy down here. I don't know... Mm, I can't remember if I can get down there and get back up or not. Or I'm sort of like pot committed to to a life of crap. If I, uh, I don't know. Ugh. Okay, I think I can. Hopefully this wasn't a horrible idea. Ooh! Rifle cartridge. One for you, one for me. Can't get back up here. Oh no, am I stuck? Am I stuck? Did I screw myself? I think I screwed myself. Yep. Okay, well, it looks like we are going down, down, down. We're doing it now. Oh, maybe I can get over this way. Okay, hold on. I thought you could get back up. Yeah, you can. Okay. Okay, there is a way to recover from such misfortunes. Alright, so... Here's this. Timberwolf Mountain Vista. I don't think I've ever visited one of these Vista things. I don't know if it's supposed to, like, show up or... Like, something you can actually see or what? Like, does it alert you when you're in the area? I've never tried. Alright, she's starting to get cold real fast. So I think maybe I gotta go over this way. Kinda looks like it. According to my pseudo dead reckoning <laughs> navigation skills. I think this is gonna be it over here somewhere. I could leave a little spray paint, possibly. But I don't see anything down there. I'm gonna go up here and check. Let's see what we see. I think you're supposed to do a uh, survey from the place where there's a... Alright, let's try this again. It probably won't let me now. It looks a little... Oh, okay. I think I'm there. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything here. I don't think you'd want to go down there. That doesn't seem like a smart play. Okay. I think I'm kind of in the area. Hard to walk. The wind's so ferocious right now. As soon as I get behind cover, I'll, I'll move much faster. There we go. Now I'll move much, much slower. Okay. I wonder if the wolves slow down when they're going into wind or the bears. It wouldn't be fair to make me have to slow down and then they're like, oh yeah, no problem. It doesn't affect me at all. Let's try going up here. I'm just curious. 
<laughs> Let's see. This one, this one, this episode's gonna run long again. Can't help it, folks. Yeah, I don't think there's really much for us to do. Maybe you can climb up there. Maybe that's the idea. Here, let me leave a. I didn't have any spray paint. Never mind. I was gonna say, let me leave a spray paint mark and see how close it is to that Polaroid icon, but I didn't pick one up, and I'm not that worried about it. All right, let's get back to the uh, back to the hotel. Well, the wind's not so bad now, at least. Is it now? Negative eight? Okay. Well, we made it up there. Lots of goodies to be had. A couple extra rounds of ammunition. Lots of food. Lots of clothing. Lots of materials. Flare gun. Lots of flares. All sorts of stuff. So, it was a good day. We had a much better day than this guy. This guy probably was from the plane crash, I'm guessing. That's what I'm gonna... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. Alright, so, let's get in here. Start warming up. We'll lay down here for an hour just to save the game. Because we are running a bit long yet again. That's alright. Let's just do one hour of sleep. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to be a producer, head on over to patreon.com forward slash accurize2. You, you too can have your name in the lights for everyone to see. Or you can uh, also just uh, donate anonymously if you don't want the, uh, the limelight. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care.